everybody, we're back for some more story time. Miss Diane, also known as Mrs. Ken, and today we have a friend with us, Miss Dottie. Hi. Some of you know Miss Dottie from the library. She has all those fun little toys up in her office. Make sure when you come to the library to stop and see Miss Dottie once in a while. Right? Right. right. Today we have two friends with us. We have Clifford, the big red dog, and we have Elmo. But doesn't this look a little funny? Elmo is bigger than Clifford. Sometimes that happens when you have toys and stuffed animals, but they're still the same friends, Clifford and Elmo. So our first story is going to be Clifford the Big Red Doll. I know many of you have heard this story before. I've read it many times. You may even have the book at home. Clifford the Big Red Dog. I'm Emily Elizabeth, and I have a dog. My dog is big and red. He's a big red dog. Other kids I know have dogs too. Some are big dogs. Actually, Miss Dottie has big dogs. She has three <laughs> big dogs at her house. And another one big dog that comes to visit. Then she'll have five big dogs at her house. And then, oh, four, <laughs> Miss Dottie's fixing me. I forgot because there's one other one that lives somewhere else that would make five red dogs. Then they're not red, they're brown. <laughs> this is what story time is. We have a good time. So the other kids have other, oh, does that look like your dog, Miss Dottie? Yes, it does. It looks just like Miss Dottie's dogs. It does. I have a little dog. And some are red dogs, like Clifford. But I have the biggest, reddest dog on the street. There he is. This is my dog. My dog, Clifford. And we have fun together. We play games. I throw a stick and he brings it back to me. He makes mistakes though sometimes. Uh-oh. He pulled the policeman back with him. <laughs> we play hide and seek. It's good to hide and seek. It's good to be the hide and seek player, but you know what? I can always find Clifford. Because he's so big. <laughs> we play camping out, and I don't need a tent. We can do tricks too. He can sit up and beg. Oh, I know he's not perfect. He has um, some bad habits like picking up a car. <laughs> he runs after cars. He catches them sometimes. And he runs after cats, too. We don't go to the zoo anymore. Clifford loves to chew on shoes. Wow. Did your dogs chew on shoes, Miss Dottie? Actually, no. No? I was very lucky. Yeah, no. my dog doesn't chew on shoes, but sometimes Clifford does. He digs in the flowers, too. Mm-hmm. My dog does that. Does yours? No. <laughs> it's not easy to keep Clifford. He eats and drinks a lot. I bet your dogs eat a lot of dog food. Yes, they do. Mm -hmm. A lot of dog food. Now, his house is a problem. It's bigger than my house. But he's a very good watchdog. Mm-hmm. Now, the mean boys don't come around anymore. I see Clifford's growling. Are dogs ever growl? Only when bad people come around. <gasps> see? Just like Clifford. Now, one day, I gave Clifford a bath. I combed his hair and took him to the dog show. I'd like to say Clifford won first prize, um, but he didn't. I don't care. You can keep all your small dogs. You can keep all your black, white, brown, and spotted dogs. But me, I'll keep my big red dog, Clifford. Wouldn't you if you had a big red dog? Yes. The end of Clifford, the big red dog. Did you like that story, Miss Dodd? I did. I did.